Hi, hello everyone. My name is Javi Casta, I'm co-founder and CEO of uh, Sixil. Sixil, we are a cyber intelligence company. What we do is we automatically monitor and analyze dark web activity. So we are able to provide our customers with a comprehensive view of potential damages, uh, especially when they still can be prevented. So in most of the time, we are able to see this, this, uh, this threat before they happen. Uh, this is one thing. The other thing, of course, we are able to provide data leaks of sensitive information. Uh, just a quick fast, and I will try to do it quick so I, I can do be in, on time. We are headquartered in Israel. We have operations in more than 25 countries in five continents. Uh, we, we are led by veterans of the Israel intelligence cyber communities. Uh, we are after two rounds on prominent uh, investors. Uh, we have been named the one of the top five most innovative companies in the life cyber tech uh, in Israel. So just in, uh, in two, 30 seconds regarding the dark web and deep web, for those of us that may be less familiar with that. Uh, as you know, the deep, the deep web is a part of the internet that is not indexed by regular search engines. Uh, while the dark web is a subgroup of that, that besides, besides being not indexed, is also anonymous and encrypted. The deep web comprehends around 95, 96% of the internet. Uh, and by the way, it keeps growing. So what we are seeing in the, in the last time is a huge increase in the, in the cyber breach, in cyber crime, uh, what is called. Uh, you, we may ask why, why this is happening, why now? I mean, people, maybe they got much smarter than we are uh, over time. Um, I don't know exactly the answer, but what I can see is, uh, is there is a lot, a lot of, of industries that are being developed uh, within, the, uh, within the dark web, a lot of creativity, a lot of collective intelligence that is being going on there. So uh, it's very important to act and to act fast. Um, in a few words, I will uh, try to explain. What we did is is a combination between technology and human behavior, okay? In the dark web, there's a lot of technology that we needed to overcome. For example, one of the challenges that you have is that there is no Google, no normal search engine. So for a question can be, how do you know where to go? We have developed a technology that we call it hidden service locator that it finds exactly that, where those things are happening. Then we have developed another technology that enables you to, to do extracted information because these guys, in general, they are very smart people and the last thing they want you to do is to extract the information. But after you find and, and you extract, then you have your big data information. But, but now the question is, is now what? And I will try to, to finish. Uh, so. We say, yes, that's right, that's big data, but it's not only data. These are human people, human beings. And when you say these are human beings, there is a lot of things that you need to take, to take into account. For example, you may think that all of us are very rational people, and we are not, okay? And these guys are not because they are human beings, we are. And we apply this, this algorithm into the technology. Uh, Okay, I could speak a lot about that, but uh, our time is short. Uh, we have several key accounts. However, it's much more than it says here. And regarding the question that, that you may ask in the future, yes, we have several paying customers. <laughs> uh, so th this is another thing that I want to do, on, only this and then, and then finish. What, what you can see here, for example, we are able to identify these threat actors at the chain names and chain places. For example, the systems telling you that Rocky Man and Pitbull and Megadeth are basically the same guy. Okay, we even managed to measure their internal reputation because we believe, <laughs> okay, we believe this is a cyber cyber crime group. Okay, um, okay, so thank you. Yes. Um, two questions. One, uh, what is your main differentiator? Um, and the second, do you remediate automatically when you find um, dark web uh, issues? Okay. Th these are very two great questions. Okay. Regarding the first question, we have developed an automatic system. 
okay? So we don't have, even though we have people, okay, we have a cyber analyst, but we don't have avatars in the sense of interacting with people. So we don't influence. We do most, 99% of the activity that we do is automatically. Now, when you do it automatically, you, you can do a very interesting thing that is connecting the dots. You have a lot of information. No human being can, I'm not saying to find where those places are, but even, even if you found it, which is impossible, if, if you do, then you have to connect the dots. When you have a machine, you can do it much better. And then you are able also to, to, to do what is called real-time alerts. Real-time prioritize alerts, and no one of these companies can. And, and third, and, uh, but not the least thing, because we believe that the dark web is basically a social network, okay? And then in that sense, we learn the modus operandi of the people, they change name and change places. You are able to understand the comprehensive damage. I don't know if he was able to, to answer that. I have a question. Um, so in cybersecurity, you always have a cat and mouse game. You know, we come up with a new technology, the bad guys identify it, and they go around. But I think in the dark web kind of approach that you have specifically, you know, if you succeed and you get to scale, it's going to be very hard for you to be able to continue to be stealthily monitoring what those people are doing without being uncovered and being defeated pretty binarily the day that they decide something. Uh, well, this is also very, a very good question. I think it's a, a matter of alternatives. What are the alternatives that these guys do? I mean, they can stop to do cyber crime and go to, to holidays for vacation for the whole life, but apparently they, they will not do it in the short time, okay? And uh, you are right in the sense that we need to be always one step ahead, okay? But it is a trade-off.